Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, been working on getting everything set up here for game day, uh, checking all the equipment twice to make sure that everything works the way it's supposed to. Uh, we're going to have some people here. We don't know what the weather's going to be like. Uh, they are calling for some rain, so we, we're prepared. We're, we're going to be prepared. Rain, sleet, or snow, I can guarantee the mailman will be here delivering it to you. We are going to have a ball here at Joe Boo's Man Cave, and I can't wait till Sunday. In fact, I can't wait till the day after tomorrow to start out, and we'll do a, a warm-up live stream for that game. So, I am mystified, mystified, you know, um, Philly 500, you know, he's, he's a friend of mine. He's a buddy of mine. He's got some issues, so to speak, and sometimes kind of talks out of the side of his neck. Right now, he seems to have revisionist history when it comes to Howie Roseman. I literally cannot believe what he's actually saying. Son, let, let, let me go to the tape here, okay? Let, let's listen to Philly 500 for a second here. Howie Roseman has just confirmed what we all been thinking. This is why he is arguably the best GM in football. having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. How about Howie Roseman, the little guy, Mr. Little Howie guy. Vision? How about his interview today? All I got to say is this. Everything we suspected about him and what he's done this all season, to me, was confirmed by this interview he gave. Now, we're going to get into it in a second, but before we do that, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure to hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe for daily Eagles content, NFL it, it content. It makes sure you go over uh, control. You don't want to miss it. We will be streaming every Eagles game this year, as well as this Thursday we'll be streaming. This Sunday night we'll be streaming. It is going to be a lot of streaming, a lot of double moonwalking. You don't want to miss it. If you've been subscribed for a while, you know the deal. Just double check, double moonwalk check. Make sure you're still subscribed. Now, I have to come on here today, and I have to talk about Howie Roseman. And this interview that he gave, I believe, was 94.1 uh, WI, WIP. I mean, dude, everything that we've been talking about when it comes to Howie Roseman, everything, he basically confirmed in this interview today, okay? If you know me and if you know my history on YouTube and, and even before that, you know I have had my ups and downs, and I'm talking about way downs with Howie Roseman. It's been a real love-hate relationship, okay? Not, a, not anything personal, but just in terms of being the GM. I fire Howie. Fucking fire him. Motherfucker! Stupid motherfucker! What an idiot! What an idiot! Dallas has Amore Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver! Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson, he's ass! He's stupid! I fire his ass! I fire his ass! I mean, how he's got to be stupid. What are you doing? You just let Dallas take him. You. Football team, some of the moves he's made, uh, they have drove me nuts, okay? However, I, the guy has changed. He is a new man. He has learned from his mistakes. And okay. I think this. I Everybody... In the world makes mistakes. Everybody, including me. Well, I make a lot of them just out of <laughs> Yeah. But everybody makes a lot of mistakes, okay? It's uh -huh. what do you do to correct yeah, what that do you mistake do? 
that really tells you the character of, per of a person, tells you what you got there. And to me, Howie Roseman has done that. And he's done it in the past to, to a certain extent. Uh -huh. However, he, this year, I would say, was very, very special. Because this year, the moves that he made just didn't m admit there was a mistake. But, but he had humility about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for example, you go out, you bring, uh, you bring in uh, A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown was in the J. J. Joel draft, right? The a guy they totally could have had, they went with J. Joel instead. And what do they do? They trade J.J. Ortega Whiteside, which was a complete and utter waste. Waste of time. They trade him away, and you trade for A.J. Brown. To me, that's an acknowledgement. I made a mistake in this specific draft. Not only am I going to trade him, I'm going to trade him to the team with the, that has the player that we should have taken, D.K. Metcalf. That is a beautiful thing. That is how you handle it. He trades him. Okay, when, when, when I saw that, I said, wow, I mean, how he essentially is admitting a mistake. He's admitting a mistake, and he's correcting that mistake. I got to respect that, but it gets better. Then he goes and he trades Jalen Rager. Now. He trades Jalen Rager. I don't know how he got anything for him, but he sends him to the team that has the player that they should have gotten, Justin Jefferson. And what does he do again? He admits to his mistake. Uh, it's more than just admitting a mistake. It's actually like being humble about it and willing to publicly acknowledge it. And, and that's what those trades meant to me is not only was I wrong, I'm going to fix the wrong. I'm going to send it to where, you know, he'll be reminded of who we should have taken. Uh, and to me, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very humble thing. And to me, it shows a lot of character uh, about Howie Roseman. So he really has started to sway me it, to, to fall in love with him. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to fall in love with the guy. All right? I, I do. I just think about Howie all night. I sit there and think about Howie walking around, you know, with his Napoleon hat, his giant pencil protector, and I'm like, man, that that guy is the man. You know what I'm saying? So, I I I I'm I'm learning to respect it. And I still have issues with his draft. I'm not gonna say I don't have any issues with his draft. I can't say that because I do. I do. However, the last two drafts have been really good. He gives me one more draft. I will put a suit and tie on, no hat, nothing. I will come in with my pinky ring, and I will be like, um. And I will give a professional, humble apology for ever doubting him in terms of drafting talent. Uh, but I... What the hell? Seriously? Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. You're the best GM because you fucked up. Excuse my language, Dad. You messed up. When you should have drafted DK Metcalf, instead you got Whiteside. So you're a great GM because you traded a number two pick for an Ugo Amadi that you then traded to the Texans or Tennessee for a swap of six or uh, seventh or six picks. So you took a seventh round pick and turned it to a six. And that's what you got for a second round pick. You take Jalen Rhaegar, and you're a great GM because you realize that you took Rhaegar when the very next guy was Justin Jefferson, and you're making up for it by sending Rhaegar to play with Justin Jefferson? Dude, what about the guys like, say, I don't know, Derek Barnett, the guy that you literally lose your mind on anytime? He's on the field. You, you hate that. That's that guy's the bane of your existence. How about spending a number one also on Andre Dillard, uh, Marcus Smith? I mean, dude, he can't draft. Now I'll get it. To, I'll give you this much. He is at least trying to make up for his mistakes. He is trying to bring in some talent because he sucks, and I mean he sucks at drafting guys. How many damn picks did he give up to try and move up to get Carson Wentz? Now, at least he made up for it by getting rid of him, but they took a $35 million dead money hit for that guy. And now you say he's the best GM in football? See, th th this is where I tell you, man. I tell you. You don't see him on, but he's got rose-colored glasses on. Everything, every mistake, every single thing that the Eagles do is the best thing in the world. Now, you know what? I'm not, I'm a homer. I'm a homer. I know I'm a homer. 
But you know, when Jerry Jones said this morning, you know, one plus one is three, I killed him for it. I said, that's the reason why we're screwing up. I have killed them for not going out and taking care of the offensive line. I've admitted that we have a long ways to go when it comes to Jerry Jones, the GM, getting us over the hump. He does about 80%, 90% right, but just doesn't follow through in the end and getting just enough people for us to win. That penny pinch and shit that he does and then turns around and gets these crazy contracts for guys that you look at and say, why are you doing that? Why are you paying, uh, you know, Jalen Smith, you know, two years early? Why are you taking Zeke Elliott and making him the biggest contract in running back history? You know, some of those things that I know that Jerry Jones has been bad on, and I'll give him credit on things that he's great on, like building the stadium, the star, and making the Dallas Cowboys the biggest money maker in the world when it comes to sports. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, you know, Jerry Jones is the greatest GM in the world. I mean, even though we did bring in guys like, you know, Tarpon, you know, uh, th that we got Anthony Barr for $2 million, that we drafted some studs like, you know, maybe arguably the best uh, linebacker, edge rusher, you know, in football, a guy who could be the de uh, defensive uh, player of the year. He's done some good things, but done a lot of bad things too. But this is some crazy, crazy crap, Philly. Philly, I don't know what's wrong with you, bro. I don't know what's wrong with you. But I know one thing. Let the season go south. Let this be the reincarnation of the dream team. Let the Eagles not be everything they did say they will. And I guarantee you, Philly 500 will do a flip-flop again. I'm Mark Holmes, and you know how we roll. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Hurts! The pass! Throws! Pick! Horrible pass! Oh my god.